Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgets2.com, and today we are going to do a quick hands-on review and unboxing as well. Or basically, we will show you all the box contents uh, which come with this tablet. This tablet is called Zonpad Seven, and it comes from this company called. Opus. You might not be uh, aware about this company because this, they are relatively new. It is a Taiwanese co company. Uh, the processor uh, configuration which we have on this device, as far as the uh, processor is concerned, you have 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. It seems to be a MediaTek chipset, but again, we cannot confirm the same as of now. It is a 7-inch tablet uh, with a resolution of 1280 into 800 IPS LCD display. It is, and it is LED backlit. Uh, the front camera on this device, which is over here, is a 2 megapixel camera. The back camera on the device is a 5 megapixel camera over here when it comes to connectivity it supports 3g 2g you have sim calling supported you have support for micro sd memory card as well as far as the other specifications of this device is concerned it has a 2 megapixel a fixed focus front camera the back camera which is a 5 megapixel camera is a fixed uh, is not a fixed focus but it is a auto focus camera and you do have tap to focus as well uh, the processor is based on Cortex A7 architecture. It is 1.2 gigahertz processor, and as per them, it is a 28 nanometer processor. We will check that later on. Uh, the RAM on this device is a 1 GB of DDR3 RAM. So let's take a look over the tablet first of all. So this is how the Opus tablet looks like, which is called Zonpad 7. Uh, again, the overall finishing of this tablet is metallic, and the back cover on this device, as per over here, is. Uh, which we see at the back side is actually metal so it is a metal back cover which looks pretty good and quite good in terms of the overall finishing and the build quality it has a matte finish to it which again makes it easy to hold it one hand and it won't get the fingerprints and scratches very easily you have the sim card slot over here which will accept a normal size sim card 3g connectivity is supported with the sim card you have the tf card slot that is the memory sd card slot the micro sd memory card slot is there where you can actually insert a micro sd memory card up to 32 gb maximum you have a reset hole over here in case the tablet hangs you can always reset it with this hole by inserting some pointed objects you have the loudspeaker mesh over here which is actually at the back side which will again uh, will be okay uh, and uh, in terms of the overall loudness it is pretty okay not too good i would say and it will definitely get blocked if you place the device like this on a table or if you don't have a stand like this you can actually place it like this and then the loudspeaker will get blocked because it is actually at the back side you do have two mics on this device uh, again for noise cancellation and video chat uh, you have a primary mic over here at the bottom over here some somewhere over here again it uh, we do not see any specific hole which would indicate the microphone position on this device but you do have dual microphone on this device as per their claims and we will confirm that later on once we do the full review you have an escape button over here uh, then you have the a volume rocker a single button and again these buttons are plastic in nature finished in the same color as far as this material is concerned over here this is actually plastic however this part is metal again you cannot remove the back cover on this device and you cannot remove the battery out of the tablet here we have the 5 megapixel camera and we have the USB micro USB port over here for data syncing and charging as well I guess so okay so you have a microphone hole over here which can be used for voice calling and again this is how the display looks like as you can see and it is again not a very fast tablet i would say but pretty okay and pretty affordable provision pretty value for money device actually i would say in terms of the overall value because this device is available for a price of 9990 and it is only available online so you won't be able to buy it offline as far as the box contents are concerned let me just show you the box contents as well so this is how the box is going to look like uh, with the website uh, so this is the Oplus Tech website where you can go and check out more information about it and about this manufacturer as well and as per them they have designed this tablet and they have also manufactured this tablet in Taiwan so these are the specifications mentioned at the back side you have 16 GB of internal memory we will just show you how much of that is actually available to the user you have expandable slot for micro SD card which will accept a 30 GB, 32 GB micro SD card at maximum you have 1 GB of DDR3 RAM micro USB micro SD card slot and then uh, you have sim card slot 3.5mm audio jack it can support uh, playing high definition videos at 1080p as well as at 720p and you do have usb otg supported on this device and it comes with this metallic casing as well as you can see 
and as per their claims they also tell that this device has a compass sensor as well so you can use this device for gps navigation much precisely although it will work with the help of a fitted gps whenever you use it apart from this if we talk about the other sensors which we have on this device you have a distance sensor gravity sensor is also there and then you have a full size normal sim card slot uh, when it comes to the ac adapter or the connectivity as well let me just show you the connectivity for the headphones so here we have the headphone jack the 3.5 mm headphone jack again the charging can be done with the micro usb port as for the syncing data syncing can also be done with the micro usb port so in terms of the overall build i would say this tablet is pretty good it is pretty good to hold it in one hand it is a 7 inch tablet pretty similar in terms of the overall form factor if you compare it with the other tablets which are there in the market it looks like an asus nexus 7 tablet but again it is not exactly the same in terms of the overall uh, build quality that one is much better in terms of the build quality you can feel the plastic over here at least at least on this edge however the back side which is over here it it is metal and it looks good and finishing is also good so let's take a look over the software now as far as the software is concerned the software has been optimized on this tablet to make it look good and make it more useful in day to day usage however it seems to be running stock android in most of the cases in most of the ui i would say uh, if you actually notice them however there are some controls over here at the bottom uh, which are for the home button back button and some of the keys you you can take a screenshot as well with this button you can increase and decrease the volume so you don't have to actually reach the physical keys which are over here the volume rocker keys you can do do that with the help of these touch capacity buttons and again it is not a very fast tablet it will take some time whenever you hold it in the landscape mode it will take like 1 second or 2 seconds uh, sometimes as per the load as per the applications you are running in the background let me just show you the pinstar application which you get so when it comes to the pinstar application you get file manager pinstar you have google chrome apart from the stock browser which we have on the device you have phone dialer and again let me just show you the phone dialer as well so taking a look over the phone dialer we do not see an option of making a video call from the phone dialer and sorry for this reflection of light coming on this display um, but again uh, i'm sorry for that we will uh, do a proper review uh, a much clear review in terms of the device look and feel once we get this device for review so let me just go into the specific uh, settings as of now to show you the internal settings and scenarios when it comes to the storage and other things when it comes to the version of android which is running on this device it is android 4.2.2 and let me just show you the storage scenario as of now the storage is good i would say at this price point of around 10000 rupees uh, near to that basically you get 16 gb of internal storage and out of which around 12.35 gb is available to the user uh, and you can install applications store picture videos and other data as well and you do have the option of changing the default storage location so you can change the default storage location from the sd card to uh, from the phone from the device storage to the sd card as well once you insert an sd card into this device let me just show you the ram scenario so this device has 1 gb of ram and as of now let me just show you the current ram scenario so uh, currently we have around 1 gb of ram on this device out of which around 474 mb of ram is being used whereas you get 486 mb of ram which is free which is again good and the device is responsive not very fast i would say in terms of the brightness this is how the brightness look like you do have support for automatic brightness so that means you have ambient light sensor on this device when it comes to the wallpaper support you have support for video wallpapers live wallpapers and static wallpapers are obviously supported and when it comes to the language and input let me just show you the language and input and uh, it looks like that it does not support continuous input so you do not have support for continuous uh, swipe to type basically is not supported on this device as far as uh, typing is concerned let me just show you the keyboard as well by going to the messaging application so again the messaging application is again stock android there is nothing new and once we go and create a new message you do not have swipe to type supported on this device but again the keyboard keys are pretty big in size so you can easily type on this device with the on screen keyboard without any issues you can uh, not do swipe to type but typing should not be a problem on this device uh, you do have the option of typing in different languages as well once you install the different keyboards and these are all the pre installed applications apart from the browsers you get um, mx player also which company installed you have things of office which company installed which will allow you to allow you to edit the documents on the go as far as the proposition is concerned this tablet comes from this company called o plus and it is actually uh, exclusively available online only so you will see it on snapdeal only and on snapdeal you can actually buy it you cannot buy this tablet right now in the retail market so you can get you cannot buy it from a uh, 
shop you can only buy it on snapdeal nowhere else uh, as far as the buying options are concerned let me just show you the camera ui first of all so this is how the camera ui look like and let me just take a photo of this charger which is the, the default charger which comes with this particular tablet you do have tap to focus and the camera seems to be pretty good again uh, it has the same MediaTek UI. When it comes to the modes, you have HDR mode supported, beautification mode is also there, you have panorama mode as well. And let me just toggle to the front camera as well to show you the quality of the front camera. So this is how the quality will look like from the front camera. It is not very good but again it is not that as well. You can do a good quality video chat from the front camera although the video feed will be kind of hazy. And let me just go back to the back camera. The back camera is a 5 megapixel camera and we have just taken this photo in artificial light basically and let me just show you the quality of the photo. So the photo looks really good I would say. Uh, the camera on this device is good enough. It does capture the good amount of details of any specific object on which you have proper amount of light. The low light performance of this camera may not be that good but we will test that later on. Right now the overall performance of the device as far as the camera is concerned looks really good. So let me just show you some of the settings of this device as far as other specifications are concerned. The thickness of the device is around So the thickness is around a uh, little less than 1 cm I would say. It should be 9 mm approximately 8.9 8, 8 or 9 mm I would say in terms of thickness. The weight of the tablet is 310 gram which is again not very heavy comparing with the other tablets which are there in the market but slightly heavier I would say but that does not make a big difference altogether and uh, let me just show you the box contents as of now. So within the box you get the micro USB cable for uh, charging and data syncing you get the universal usb charger the output current from this charger is going to be 2 ampere so it is a powerful charger which you can use with this tablet these are the headphones which come within the package and again the quality of the headphones which come within the package is also good it is in-ear headphones which you will get within the package looks good you also have a module over here with a button to pick the calls as you can see and this is how the audio lead or the headphone jack lead will look like apart from this you also get a carry pouch uh, which is a good quality of cloth which they have provided very soft you can place your tablet inside it and carry it around you also get a user manual a warranty guide and safety guide all in one which is kind of a basic and again it may not be that useful so these are all the contents which you get within the package as far as the accessories are concerned you do not get a flip cover for this tablet and again you cannot buy the flip cover as of now it might be available in some time again on snapdeal as far as the other things are concerned you have a brushed metal finishing at the back side which is definitely very good at this price point i would say comparing with the other tablets which we have seen in the market and let me just show you some other things about the tablet so as far as the game performance is concerned you can play casual games we will confirm about the gpu and the exit processor specification on this tablet later on but right now we can say that it seems to be running a mediatek chipset it should be mediatek uh, chipset with some mali 400 gpu configuration to be very exact as far as the resolution of the display is concerned the resolution of the display is 1280 into 800 and the overall pixel density which you get on this display is again not too good but pretty okay i would say when it comes to reading text you will not feel the pixelation on this device that is something which we can tell you as of now the battery on the device is 3500 milliampere hour battery which is non-removable that means you cannot actually remove the battery out of the tablet and you cannot actually uh, replace it with other battery uh, however it should give you good amount of battery backup and that is something which we will test once we do the full review of this tablet so uh, as of now we would like to give a thumbs up to this tablet as far as the overall value for money this tablet is it is a 10,000 rupees tablet does give you all the specification you need at this price point at a affordable price point the only thing is that uh, when it comes to the uh, overall performance we won't be able to tell you the exact performance of this tablet uh, in day-to-day -day usage we will tell you that later on once we do the full review that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you